The modern form designer has a multitude of ways to customize the look and feel of your forms. As we've seen before, you can even use CSS-like custom style controls that give you the power to manipulate padding, borders, and more. However, there are some things where the only way that you can change appearance or behavior is by actually changing the CSS itself. Let's start with this form that I've created previously using tabs and the built-in impact style. Now it looks pretty good overall, but there are a few places where I think it could look better. For instance, the top line of the input area is too cramped against the tabs and the input fields on the right and left sides of the form are too close to the border. And I want my whole form to be tan. And I want the active tab to be the same color as the form, but I want the inactive tabs to be kind of grayed out and their labels too. And I want borders to separate the tabs to make them easier to see. Now, the first two items on the list could be accomplished using the custom styles feature in the form designer, although you'd need to repeat it for every tab. But there's no way to change the tab color, which means that we need to use CSS. And since we're doing that, we'll make all our other changes in CSS as well meaning that we don't have to create individual styles for every tab in the form. The trickiest part of this whole operation is finding the elements that you want to modify. To be honest, it took me much longer than it would take a real expert to figure out what I'm going to show you. I'll show you results, but I admit that there was a lot of trial and error on my part, and this can definitely be chalked up to my skill level but I do think that you need to be prepared for a learning curve. I'll walk through how I set the color for the tabs. Using the browser development tools, I pinpointed the tab and that exposed the ID in the code window for the element I was working with. In the styles panel, I then added my background color. I changed the background color that it was displayed and I added in an important marker to override any other definitions. Since that looked good, I copied the code and then opened up the CSS panel and pasted it there. And I also removed all the definitions that didn't specifically refer to the background color just to keep things a little cleaner. I closed the developer panel, then I saved and refreshed the screen and my change is stuck. Great. I even got the dynamic behaviors I was expecting when I changed tabs. And that's the advantage of grabbing that more involved element set. I corralled the whole thing at once. I continued to work through my changes and eventually came up with the whole set. And I'll show the code in the text of this post as well. I will tell you that sometimes I needed to be looking at the actual live form, and sometimes I had to search for the code in the form designer tool. And once again, this probably has more to do with my skill level, but it's something that you may want to keep in mind. At any rate, once I had added all my code, I saved and published, and here is my end result exactly as I had envisioned it. In the right hands, this is tremendously powerful. It gives you complete control over the look and feel of your forms, letting you create a UI that is able to adhere to the most stringent design specs and that makes the user's job easier too.